guys, today I'm going to do the Costing Hamilton tag. This tag was created by Danielle from Simply Thoughtful Books and I saw this tag from uh, Taylor, Taylor Talks Book. Basically how it works is Danielle picked all of the characters from Hamilton, gave them character traits and you'd have to pick a book character to match them up and recast the Hamilton cast. So the first one is Alexander Hamilton, um, the main guy. And his character traits are charismatic, determined, intelligent, and arrogant. And for Hamilton, I pick Lada from And I Darken. Uh, I haven't finished this book yet, I'm just at like chapter 3 or something. But she looks like she fits Hamilton really well. And she's also an important historic figure. So there you have it. So the next uh, one is Aaron Burr, Sir. Uh, he is jealous, reserved, and self-motivated. Anyway, for Burr, I picked uh, Prospero the Enchanter from The Night Circus. He's really selfish, he's also a dad, and um, I feel like he's made a villain because of circumstances to just like Burr, uh, so yeah. Then we have Angelica, Skylar. She is Loyal, strong and sassy. And for Angelica I picked Verity from Codename Verity. She's just basically how I would imagine Angelica as a bookish character. She's hilarious in her writing style. She's sassy, she don't let other people tell her what to do. And yeah, I just really loved her character. Then we have Eliza, Skylar, Hamilton, however you want to call her. She is caring, loyal, and overall a cinnamon roll. And for her, I picked Jem Carster, so this is going to be a bit of a gender ban. But Jem is just so sweet, and he is basically everything, and he is a cinnamon roll too, so yeah. And then we have Peggy. Um, she's a sidekick, she's sweet, and she's innocent. And for her, I picked Pauline from The Kiss of Deception. I uh, just finished reading this book, and I think Pauline is the perfect example of the Aunt Peggy effect. Um, so basically, the forgotten sidekick, just like Peggy is. Then we have our favorite fighting Frenchman, Lafayette. He is brave, trustworthy, and the life of the party. And I picked Harper Price from Rebel Bell. I don't know why I read this book a while ago, but I feel like Lafayette and Harper just really have some things in common. Uh, Harper is also really trying to be the life of the party. She's also very funny in my opinion. Um, and she's also very brave. I mean, if you are in her situation, you have to be brave, so yes. And then we have John Lawrence. Uh, he is determined, selfish, charming, and open-minded. And for him, I picked Ollie from Everything Everything. Um, he's just really open-minded in getting a friendship with Madeline, and really sweet and selfless. And he, he has, um, he just wants to do so much for Madeline, and I think that's really sweet. Then we have Hercules Mulligan. He has a big personality, he's resourceful, and he's dedicated. And for him, I picked Penryn from Penryn and the End of Days. Um, I've only read the first book and I really need to reread it before I continue the rest of the series, so I'm probably going to marathon them soon. But I think Penryn is just such a badass character that's also infiltrated with the bad guys, just like Mulligan. That might be a spoiler. Then we have King George III, uh, he's the villain you love to hate. And for this I picked Nimona from Nimona. Uh, I'm currently reading this graphic novel and she really wants to be a villain but she's just hilarious and I think um, she and King George are just kind of the same people, they're like kill everyone but still be hilarious and just then we have George Washington he is um, he's a leader he's honest and he's practical and I picked Joanna from um, salt in the sea um, she's just she was the leader of their traveling group of regi refugees uh, she was um, just really caring and 
practical. I mean, she was a nurse. She was trained to be a nurse. How handy is that to have in your group of refugees? Crossing the country in the middle of winter. So, yeah. Then we have Thomas Jefferson. He is flamboyant, opinionated, and successful. And who could I pick other than Magnus Bain himself? I mean, I can already see him in that flourish pink jacket dancing to what did I miss? You get me. Then we have James Madison. He's a sidekick as well. He's quiet and he's intelligent. And for him I picked Scorpius Malfoy from The Curious Child. I did not finish it. I only got um, past Act 1. But Scorpius Malfoy was like one of the light points. And I feel like he really matches um, with James Madison just doing whatever Albus says and stuff like that, so yeah. And then we have Miss Mariah Reynolds. Um, she's manipulative, desirable and cunning and I picked Manon Blackbeak from the Throne of Class series. She is also very mani manipulative um, and cunning, I guess. <laughs> um, but I also think that would be great friends if Manon had friends. But I feel like she would be a great Mariah Reynolds. And lastly we have our dear Philip Hamilton. And um, he is charismatic, loud, loyal and brave. And for him I picked Jace Herondale from the Mortal Instruments series. And I feel like they're just so much the same. And can you imagine Jace rapping? The birthday song thing that um, Philip sang to his dad on his birthday. I feel like, I mean, he is loud, he's loyal to Alec and all the rest of his friends, he's brave, I mean, you have to be if you're a shadow hunter, and he's charismatic, so I think that is the perfect fit. So that is the um, casting Hamilton tag, I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you next time. Doei!